this video, we're going to focus on, after the dots have been made, how to manually define our first quadratic model in Logger Pro. And I'll also give you the option of how to take a screenshot and do it in Desmos. So we've already got all our points. We can only see a few here, but that's because I've used this origin button and I've set the origin where the ball left my hand. I can also move that around and make the origin the highest point, right? So potentially there's a vertex form there, down here. Now you can see from my knee down, I don't know when it's, my question is when it's going to hit the ground. So origin placement is important. Let's say I choose it here, okay? So this is my point of the origin of my axes. The ball goes up and then comes down, and I don't know because I can't see, but it'll hit the floor somewhere around there. That's my prediction question. When will it hit the ground? Okay, so notice I can only see these points. On this axis, I can click more, and the bottom is minus 150. The top, I'm going to make 100 centimeters, okay? I know that this height from here to here is 120. That's that green line there. So now I see all my points. And I see that the video started at zero. However, I started collecting data just before two seconds in. Okay, so pay attention to your units. And here, this is one meter above the origin where it left my hand. Okay, down here I have time. If my question was to deal with a different variable, right? If I was dealing with the horizontal distance, I would just change it there. But let's stick with time. Okay, so here we go. Now our goal is that I want to eventually get a quadratic function. So I go to curve fit. Now there's my curve. I don't really see a y-intercept because my time isn't starting at zero. The only one that it gives me as a quadratic is standard form. So I need to define a function, and when I go into define a function, I change it to the form that I want. So I'm going to make it t minus h, t for time. You might have x there instead of t, and then we are going to go plus k. All right, it's also a quadratic, but I'm going to call it quadratic vertex form. Okay. Now I want to make sure I'm on manual, and then I will now physically do the mathematics in my project. But for this, we definitely need to be negative. The vertex looks like, oh, this is quick and dirty, so this is 2.4 seconds and a height of about, let's say, 90. Okay. Then, um, having worked out a reasonable a value, minus 700. Okay, so that's not very good. You'll put more thought into your parameters and explain to your teacher how you came up with those. But at least we've now got an initial manual fit for the quadratic. Okay, and that is one particular way within Logger Pro to use the video analysis after you've got your points, manual fit to develop your first model, which we'll check on Monday. Okay, let's say that's all a bit much for you doing a user-defined function. You can also just take a picture and then you can go to Desmos drag that picture in and you can rescale it the way I showed in the other video. So here's my points. I know a certain distance of 120 so I gotta use my rescaling and my zooming and moving the whole image around so wherever I want my vertex and something in the picture that I know right so that I can get my scale Okay, so either way, whatever you're more comfortable with is what you should use. Write in Logger Pro using the manual user-defined function or take a picture and then set your scale in Desmos like the other video showed. Okay, good luck.